popping. <laughs> Educators and civil rights activists, 60 years ago, our forebears marched for jobs and justice, for equality, for freedom, for the promise of public education, for dignity at work, and a voice in our democracy. 60 years ago, think about their courage to hitch rides, board buses, sleep on church floors, trust strangers, to come from the segregated South to the segregated nation's capital. Because liberty, equality, and opportunity, ideals synonymous with America, were denied to, do, to too many Americans. We march today because justice is still denied to too many Americans. We, thank you, Reverend Al, we march in the footsteps of King and Lewis, of Randolph and Rustin, and all those who came to Washington in 1963. We march for the promise of America. We march for public education to be the opportunity agent for all children because far too many of our students live in poverty, suffer from loneliness, attend underfunded schools, and die from gunshots. As others scheme to deprive some Americans of their right to vote, we march not only for the right to vote, but to get out the vote and exercise the vote. We march not to only save our democracy, but for the multiracial democracy the 1965 Voting Rights yes. Act envisioned. Yes. We march for opportunity because when the wealthy 1% has as much wealth as the bottom 90%, we need a pathway to the middle class and for good jobs that Rustin and Randolph fought for and today's union movement fights for. We march to combat hate and division in America because hate crimes are at the highest level on record, terrorizing not only those who are targeted, but whole communities. And we march because we will not be silent, because we have the courage to act, the courage of our conviction to bend the moral universe, the arc of the moral universe towards justice and freedom. So, my friends, in the face of the extremists, division and hate, we create connection and community. In the face of fear, we have hope. In the face of despair, we have dreams. In the face of silence, we tell our stories. In the face of smears, we offer solutions. When they ban books, we give them away. When they try to erase history, we stand up and make sure it's taught the good and the bad. When they denigrate LGBTQ students, we stand up for them. When they smear educators and public schools, we promote solutions to help every public school be a place that parents want to send their kids, educators want to teach, and kids thrive. So, as extremists try to divide us, public schools unite us, and because public schools unite us, they will anchor the promise of a multiracial democracy. So, 60 years later, we brought courage from those who stood on this hallowed ground. The courage to fight, the courage to care, yeah. the courage to speak out, the courage to show up and act. Today we march, tomorrow we go back to our communities to exercise the muscle of activism to bend the arc towards justice, to realize the promise of America for everyone. Thank you. And now, now the head of the A. Philip Randolph Institute, the institute that helped spawn this march, Clayola Brown. Oh, thank you, Ray.